Okay, no one's here. Anyway, I will talk to this. Um, okay, I believe someone's here. So, um, how are you guys doing? I just wanted to talk about um, that we finally came to um, Hamburg, you know, from from Izmir in or Istanbul or whatever. And I just want to say hello. I really miss you guys. I don't know this channel. I believe is a mess because there are almost five thousand subscribers, but. Um, but something ain't right, I don't know what it is. So, let's talk about Hamburg. Well, we are not actually in, in Hamburg, but we are 25 kilometers far from Hamburg. And it's a very nice um, place. It's amazing, cool, with wonderful people. And um, so we came here last year. We came to this, play, this, uh, this uh, location last year November so it's been almost almost one year of course not but a few months we will uh, be here for one year and um, let's talk about the costs first um, if you want to and so um, oh, we have two people who are you guys I don't know I can't see you whatever um, so we came here with uh, two um, sweet bags, how you call that, you know? We didn't uh, brought with us any furniture or stuff. So we brought, uh, we bought everything from you, from Ikea mostly. And we spent around, I believe for, um, you know, we have a kid and we are, we are three. We are three persons. So we, it's a kinder. You know, uh, it's some kinder room. Uh, we have a kids' room and we have you know normal living room and the bath bathroom and stuff. So we paid around um, ten thousand euros, almost maybe a bit more. And then we needed a car, of course, because um, we came with an airplane. So we bought a golf, a golf, a new one actually, and we paid another ten thousand euros for that. So it's almost twenty but twenty grand. Then, of course, um, a lot of other stuff. So it costs approximately around twenty five thousand euros for we are three person, you know, a kid and my wife. It's not that much. So we built everything from scratch and it was the, the biggest problem was to rent a uh, apartment a house or whatever we are living in an apartment you now it's almost like a house it's not like a lot of um you know it's just we have uh, three three floors so it's nice but it was a problem because we didn't have there was no job and if you have no job you can't rent any nothing in here even not a garage you know, and so uh, a friend of mine just jumped in and said, you know, um, I will help you on that. So he signed with us. So we we rent this uh, nice apartment, but it's uh, a bit expensive. It costs uh, thousands two hundred and seventy five euros per month. So we are still uh, spending money like crazy, like, you know, like in a party. Um, we are just, uh, okay, anyway, it's all fine. It's all cool. We are happy to be here, me, especially as an artist. Um, I'm very happy. Now, so we spent, we are, we are paying 2275 as I said, and we spent 10000 in a car. We spent another 10,000 or a bit more for the furniture. And then everything started. So I'm looking for a job since, since I'm here, almost six, seven months. But there was no reaction, you know, um, because it's different in German. Here's a system, you know, and if you're not a part of the system, then it will be quite, um, quite difficult. But I started to work. Um, almost two weeks 
I started to work in a supermarket, which is quite cool. Um, you know, if you don't know, I'm an engineer. I, I study um, geological, uh, um, geological engineering, and I'm 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 a full time artist actually for for the most uh, for almost uh, seventeen or twenty years. So it, it's a quite difficult when you apply, make a job application, and people like what is this shit? You are an engineer, you're making art, but we're looking just someone who work, you know, something very uh, simple or stuff like that. So you, you seem to be overqualified. And if you're applied to a job where not so much qualification is, um, where they're not looking for much qualification, then they go like, well, this doesn't work either. Anyway, I'm working in a supermarket. It starts at um, 8 p.m. and goes, you know, to, to until midnight. So it's almost four, sometimes five hours a day. But um, on the first of next month, I will also start to work at another company. is not a supermarket, but you know, they they are, they was looking for for a handy uh, for some handy you know, some hands, qualified hands, you know, to put things together. And so I said, I'm making mosaics and stuff for the last 20 years and stencil art, whatever. It's not a big problem for me. And they said, okay, so whatever, I have a job, finally. Not something that I love to do, but it's okay. You know, um, at a supermarket, I'm just, you know, the goods are placed in this uh, Regale, we say in German, I don't know how to call it in English. So I'm, I'm, I'm putting all this stuff, uh, the goods in that uh, spaces you know, so you can, you can come next morning, pick it up. You know, you have to take care of the dates, of the product, if it's a chocolate, so, you know, uh, whatever. And, okay, quick update on that. And what else about art? I did make, I just make a banana, a big one. I don't know why, I just want to do a, a cutout. I don't know if I upload a video about that, um, but that's all I did until now. So not much about art, but you know, as Marina Abramovic said, uh, art comes from life, not from studio. So I'm just in the loading process with everything I'm doing, you know, um, so new, like, energy is coming up about why is it so dark? I have no idea. I'm sorry. There is a lot of light in the room, but I know, don't know why it's so dark. And um, I think that's it. Um, it's quite cool, Larry. If you know Larry, Larry's my little daughter. She's going to the kindergarten since we are here. She's, she speaks German. Well, and it was so quick, you know, kids are learning so quick. And that's a cool thing. Um, my wife was just learning German uh, too. She had a nice offer from Facebook as a manager. But they said, you know, first you have to learn German. And then you will come here to, there, there was a headquarter, I believe, here in Hamburg. A Facebook headquarter. But it will take a bit of time. The important things, I believe, when you move from another country, um, then you have to have um, a bit of money with you, you know? Um, imagine um, it's been, let's say, seven months and multiplied with 1,275, which is the rent that we are paid. That's also a lot of money. So you have to bring with you, uh, um, you know, a lot of money. <laughs> so you're, you're just spending like crazy. And um, that's cool. Whatever. Um, you know, um, this has nothing to do with the video topic. But I see a lot of people are getting sick because I make, I believe, two videos where I compare Picasso to this uh, artist stuff today, like Jeff Koons and, you know, this Damien Hirst um, and this Tracy Ammon as a female is also part of this 
of this bubble. Um, you know, they are all artists from the contemporary area and um, they are making up such uh, shit and they get sold for millions. So people are very ex um, upset, a lot of dislikes and, you know, very, I don't want to say negative comments. Comments is a comment, whatever. Saying, you know, that I'm jealous about them. But God damn, why should I be jealous? This has not, nothing to do with the jealous, you know. You don't have to think like this is a one-hour thing. It's just a thing that will go over years and then you will face, your kids will face this uh, trouble that all this auction house and this, call it artist people and the PR agencies and the galleries who are supporting them because they're making money as well. Um, they are damaging the art history today is what I believe. I'm not even making art, you know, I'm not jealous. Um, it should be a nice thing, you know, just, uh, you know, okay, let's talk about this. Damien Hirst never did any artwork by himself. Maybe the last time he did, because a lot of people was talking, you know. And Jeff Koons is making, um, let people do stuff for him. And Tracy Ammon playing with, you know, lights and stuff. You know, all this bullshit. You can check it by yourself, you know. Uh, even ask your kid, you know, how, what do you think about that? You know, um, and they will give you the right answer. So they're making up all this shit. And I was just trying to address it. And I will do it even more often. Because if there is any, any, um, any, how you call that, any power pushing up against you, that means there is something, something is moving and to need to move things forward, you know, you have to talk. Um, they're making up all this shit and a lot of great artists, well, unknown artists, I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about really great artists who are spending their whole life in some sort of techniques and real art things, you know, um, they are suffering. They're not making, they are not making any money or they even, you know, no one know that, knows that there exist. Okay, one more example, you know, the outsiders, the, the outsiders, these are um, um, people like, I don't want to say, uh, what's the word for that? Um, they are suffering from some brain things, you know, I don't want to say something negative about that because I don't know how to call it. So don't get me wrong, but they are making such amazing uh, artworks, you know, when you see them, you go like just immediately, you know, oh yeah, this is one of them. And you can't see them in any auction house or gallery. If these works are placed in some galleries, it's because they are forced to by the politicians, you know, by the government, you know, please put also some work of these people in your gallery. It's crazy. I will not make even, I will open, even open a new channel to talk. I will call it Jeff Koons, Damien Harris, and all these others. Clever, but stupid in, in, in direction art, um, a channel to talk about their bullshit, you know. Um, okay. So, thank you for being here. Two people we had, we had three, and that's cool. I just wanted to, <coughs> excuse me, say hello. And, um, yeah, I just want to say hello. I think that's it. See you, um, guys. You know, as, as I said, this channel is a totally mess. I don't know what's wrong. I, I think the... What's wrong? Sorry, there was something on the screen. I think there's something wrong with the channel. Anyways, we don't need to talk about that. I don't know who is watching right now. Uh, I'm done. And um, as we say here in Germany, tschüss and pass off the off. And bye-bye. Adios.